Hi everybody. Today we're going to move away from the angles for a moment, um, like we've been seeing them. They're going to be in figures now. And it's the same idea, we're just looking at different pictures. The basic idea is if you have a triangle, and I don't know if we ever talked about this, but if you have any triangle, any shape whatsoever, the sum of all the angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. I'm going to say in any triangle. Okay? Always, always true. So if this was 60 degrees and this was 60 degrees, what are we up to? That's 120. It would be 60 more degrees to get up to 180. All right? It's that easy. Okay? If it was a different looking, let's say it was a right triangle. Okay? And, well, we know that's 90. If I told you this was 30, oh, same thing. 90 and 30 is 120. We would need 60 more. Okay? Always equals 180. Now, you can use that fact to figure out more shapes. So, if I drew, let's do a rectangle, four sides. Um, actually, this one we can figure out, that's 490 degrees. 4 times 90 is 360. Now, that one was easy. Here's another way to figure out any four-sided. You can always cut it corner to corner. And what did we create? Two triangles. This one's 180. This one's 180. So you knew it had to add up to 360. Let's say I drew a... Oh, how about a trapezoid? Those don't have 90s. I wouldn't be able to guess these angles. So check it out. Go corner to corner. Cut it. You get a triangle and a triangle. This one's 180. This one's 180. Again, any four-sided shape would be 360. You can memorize that or you can figure it out every time. The thing to memorize is this. Once you know there's 180 in a triangle, you're good to go. We could keep going. Pentagon. How many total degrees? Psh, I don't know. Cut it into triangles. Boom. Boom. There's always going to be three triangles. That's three 180s. That's going to be 540. So that's the basic lesson part. What we're going to do is we're going to use algebra to figure out missing angles. So let me show you what I mean. Here's your first example. Okay. So let's draw a picture here. Where's my, yeah, let's do a right triangle. We're going to start easy. Sorry, you guys have been doing so good, but let's say that's 90, this is 40, and this is X. So instead of just typing in your calculator, I want to see your thought process. So we're going to practice writing out equations just like you have been. So I would say X plus 40 plus, don't forget this one, plus 90 all together, we just learned, is supposed to equal 180 because any triangle adds up to 180. And then you just solve it. So I would combine these together. That's 130. Right? Subtract the 130. And we are down to 50. And there's nothing to plug it in. It was just an X. So uh, in this case, we're done. Okay? So that's how tonight's homework or practice is going to go. Let's do one with a four-sided shape. Let's try, I don't know, kind of an elongated <laughs> trapezoid. Let's, let's see. Let's say this is X, 98, 42, and 70. Okay. So same idea. They're giving you one missing thing. They want to see your process here, so we're going to say, all right, x plus the 98 plus the 42 plus the 70 is going to equal, be careful now, a triangle 
is 180. How many sides does this shape have? One, two, three, four. Any four-sided shape is going to add up to 360. Sorry if that's making you dizzy there. <laughs> so just make sure you count the sides, that's all. Th triangle, 180. Four sides, 360. Okay, and let's add this up. The 98, I'm going to use my calculator so I don't make a mistake again. 98 plus the 42 plus the 70 brings us to 210. And we're going to subtract that 210 and subtract, and we get 150. And again, we're done because in this case, they just wanted X. So kind of easier problems today, but I just want you to practice, you know, looking at the shapes adds up to 180 or adds up to 360. All right. And then tomorrow we'll do the same kind of thing and there'll just be some more algebra, a little more complicated problems, but you guys can definitely do it. All right, keep it up guys.